guys so i left <laughs> the other airbnb yeah it was a really nice place the host was really nice she was staying in the house as well but it was such a good experience i'm glad i got to experience it but it was so far it was so far from the city area and stuff and of course when i was booking it i didn't know it was that far but you know when you don't know a place the map looks the same i was like as long as i'm in perth that's what Mara's. Little did I know that it's very far from my school and just the city in itself being accessible to everything else. So I moved to another Airbnb because I only booked that other one for two weeks. This one I decided to book for one week as I asked the Lord to move me into a solid place and that is actually happening so i'm so grateful. I'll share probably um the whole story in another video but uh, bless the lord i think now i have a solid place to move into after i get out of this place so i thank god for that thank god today is monday mm -hmm. did i vlog the weekend i only vlogged when you were moving just a bit as you've probably seen we got an accident um but that was sorted out no one was hurt so bless the lord but yeah it was a shocking accident um but either way my saturday went well I had dinner that night and i came back home on sunday which was yesterday is when i went to see the potential the people i'll be living with when i move to that solid place now they're so nice they're so so nice so oh, thank god and god god really answered my prayers guys he answered my prayers for sure so yeah so today i'm just chilling it's very rainy um, it's been raining a lot so it's super cold so i am warm the heater is on i have my blanket here i know a hollered so i think let me give you guys a small house tour i won't show you everything of course because this is also someone's home so um in australia most people who do airbnb business they basically just rent out a room so you don't have the whole house to yourself so they live here with you so that's what it is so for their privacy i'll just um i will just vlog like the common areas and then yeah tell me what you guys think i think it's such a lovely place it's so warm and no i'm mean, not warm but like yeah warm in terms of like mentally warm you just feel like you're in a home more than a house does that make sense? Yeah. So let me show you guys in a minute. nice i would live here like live live here but it's so beautiful the guy has done a really good job um at maintaining it and whatever so yeah so today i'm just chilling in the house 
to be honest. Um, I don't, I feel like I haven't rested, which is funny because I'm just from sleeping. <laughs> I think I'm still jet lagged because my body is still in Kenyan time. I think I'll watch something and then make lunch. And by lunch, I mean Indomie. <laughs> Because uh, I don't buy groceries yet. I bought groceries for the first two weeks and they haven't issued. So there's still some. So I want, when I want, I'm moving to that other place on Wednesday. Today is Monday. So the day after, is, after tomorrow, after yesterday. So, uh, so I don't want to buy groceries yet. I'll buy once I move in there because they'll know what I need and whatever. But yeah, that's the stuff. So today I'm just gonna chill watch a movie make lunch and then uh, that will be the day if i have any official things to do i'll do them but for now uh, i just want it to be a slow day tomorrow we're going to i need to buy a bed so tomorrow we'll buy a bed for that house and then i get to decorate my room so i'll show you guys how that goes that we do it together but yeah so i'm just honestly i'm on pinterest just looking at inspo and what i'd like yeah that's what's up um let me get to it i'll probably see you guys tomorrow unless something else comes up guys yeah, if you know me you know me and kfc together so, um this is my first time actually ordering in since i got into this country so I was kind of, you know that panic for, <laughs> you don't know what you're supposed to do, but you know what you're supposed to do, but you're afraid of it being messed up. Anyway, that's how I was feeling. So let me open it up. I ordered the popcorn chicken with fries. It's a combo uh, with Mountain Dew. This is my lunch for the day. Oh, those are not big, which is good. I haven't had a very good appetite. Let's up, but the fry that you do go. But that's okay. So I'm just going to bring a plate. I'm a utabuyake ni. Yeah, no, let me just bring a plate. Because I can. So here we are. First chicken. Ooh, it looks nice. Looks very nice. Mm. Look a lot, right? Mm. Love it. So I'm a very plain palated person. So and I am not a very I don't like spices a lot. Kind of try to get Things that I actually like to eat so that I don't feel like I wasted my money. So I'm those people who would eat the same thing for a very long time just because I don't want to order something that I don't like. I'm afraid of exploring but since we are in a new country I think I can do that. So yeah since we're in a new country I think I can explore. Of course I'll take you guys around um, trying out new places then We'll see. We'll see what works and what doesn't. So, let me have my lunch. Good morning. Well, it's not morning <laughs> right now. It is um midday. Listen, I'll work on my sleeping schedule starting today. Hopefully. Hopefully. But anyways, um, I have woken up well very very well actually i slept really well um yeah so i'm about to leave the house you go look for a bed right now let me show you guys my outfit but listen my room is not so this is my outfit um i just have jeans on um this cardigan and then i bought flats the flats i bought at kmart that's what i'm wearing so yeah and the famous trench coat i'm going to wear this trench coat um till i'm satisfied but anyways all this to say um let's go before bed i think i'll have food afterwards 
and then i'm thinking of going to my school to get my student id so let's see how that will go um yeah found myself smiling more the moment you leave i feel down again i talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone i swear that i'm trying my best you tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend i wonder where i'll end up next on the corner of hope For a minute, I let you know when to let go. You give a little love with a little sun everywhere you go, everywhere you run. You never say a word, even when it hurts. Everywhere you go, everywhere you smile. You make it look easy. I don't understand how you can love me. to do a, I guess bedding holes um, bedding hole does that make sense but yeah I think that just I just bought the time right now is what it's about 9 30 p.m. I bought these things like two hours ago so it was a rush um, I bought them at Kmart so let me just do a hole and then um, we'll organize my room for the first night it's the first night so I've never stayed here so I just want to make my bed at least sleep then I will organize things tomorrow unless I get a rush of psych so first up hello so all the things are from Kmart um so it's not really oh, wait. I'm having yogurt and berries so let me know this I feel like I'll buy more of this okay? of this quilt. I call them duvet, but I guess we're built different. I won't open this up now, and um, you'll just see it and I'm quilt. So cumbersome. Um, and then these are. So I'm thinking doing for once in my life. Is it pretty for once? I've never had a theme, but like. I'm thinking of making my room into a pink, white, brown aesthetic. So that's what I'm going with. So these are just pillowcases. I bought a laundry basket. So this is this way from there. So I bought a towel. Very many hangers. Because <laughs> um, my cupboard doesn't have drawers. So we'll be hanging a lot of things, which is different from when I was in Kenya because we kind of have cupboards, you know, like drawers and stuff so unless I get it but I don't fill this room up I don't want my room to be too full so yeah, so these are pink sheets there's a quilt cover so yeah, for the quilt so that the white is not on the outside yeah, and then the laundry basket, I think, oh wait um, is this blanket um that i bought just for extra warmth and stuff and my room is pretty warm so it's not too bad um and 
yeah i think that's all for the kmart bedding haul so now let me get organizing because this room were hollered but let me make my bed for the first night hey guys ignore the noise um, some construction going on but anyway i'm gonna end my vlog there if you want to see how um the bed came out and everything you can go to my instagram or my shorts i actually posted it on my shorts and instagram so make sure you go ahead and do that i have my my twitter on. <laughs> don't ask me many questions don't ask me many questions but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog there thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe and share i'll be sharing more and more um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this long short look i don't know um in your classification whatever it is anyway so uh make sure you subscribe i would love for you to also tell me what you'd like to see in my life here in australia i'm three weeks old now so tell me what content you'd like to see and i'll be glad to give you whatever so bye